Laura Brewer, this is a new uh, setup for you guys. Tell me about this uh, whole menagerie. Thing, yes. Um, actually, it started about uh, seven, eight months ago. It started in January. I was teaching quilting classes at Luna Community College, and I decided that uh, after that semester, the spring semester, I was going to retire because I'd been doing it for about six years, and it's quite a drive down there. I enjoyed it thoroughly, but it was time to, to uh, go on to something else. So I knew when I retired there, I was gonna really need to do something. And my husband, Hal, knew it as well. So we started kind of looking around to see if we wanted to rent someplace. But we happened to come across this, it was the old Big Six Bar at one time, and uh, the Alternatives to Violence organization owned it. And they were willing to go with a little bit lower price so that we could afford to buy it and then fix it up. So we decided we'll just buy the building and put the little store in here. And it kind of ended up being a lot more than we even imagined. Well, patchwork quilts, uh, material, mm -hmm. you've got the whole thing. Uh, no better thing really to do than to turn your hobby into a business. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love it. It's in my blood. I'm never going to give it up. So I thought we might as well just continue on with this. And I know there are many, many quilters and seamstresses in the area that would love to be able to buy something in town rather than having to go over the pass or up to Pueblo or down to Santa Fe or, or buy it online and never know what you're really going to get. So we have it right here at um, Patchwork Phoenix in Raton, so we're real pleased about that. What about some of the other stuff that you've got out front? Uh, you've got a lot of paintings and pictures hanging on the wall. What is all yeah. that about? Well, it kind of started out just as a little place for my, my hobby, the quilting and sewing. But because the building was rather large and we thought, you know, we could do a little more with this than just a, a little sewing place. So we, we got to thinking about it and we thought, you know, a gallery gift shop because we, we really wanted to complement the uh, Old Pass Gallery because we already have one gallery there and we also have Milby Benjes Gallery down on the corner and so we thought you know let's put some more galleries down here on Historic First Street let's be a draw for some of the art lovers of the world and so we thought let's just do a, a gallery as well and then because it was a bar uh, it already, you know, had kind of a bar there. We, we rejuvenated it a little bit, but then we thought everybody kept asking for hard scoop ice cream, and so we said, okay, let's do that. And then um, we didn't want to compete, you know, really with Enchanted Grounds, so we didn't want to do the specialty coffees and the cappuccinos and things like that. But we do carry some wonderful coffees from the Great Bend Coffee Company. Uh, we have them for purchase at the Whole Beans, and then we, we just have our regular coffee that we brew here as well well as the Great Bend, and we have specialty creamers, you know, the little packets of creamers. So if somebody is just a real coffee lover, they can come in and get a cup of coffee and then just add the, the creamers to spice it up just a bit. And then we also have Boylan sodas, which are 100% natural, um, and then we have the Naked Juices, which are no sugar added, and so, um, just a minute, <laughs> we've got people coming in the door. And, but anyway, so it's a little of everything. I have some of our local authors on the shelves, so if you uh, know a particular author that you enjoy, we will be having some book signings as well. So lots of fun things going on here. So the Phoenix is going to take flight. Yes, absolutely. That's why it's patchwork. It's not just for the quilting. It's kind of because it's a little of everything, and it's kind of rising from the, the ashes of the old Big Six Bar. So we're Patchwork Phoenix. Very good. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. We're here at Patchwork Phoenix. Uh, Laura and Hal Brewer are here. Oh, they're right in front. We're getting ready to cut the ribbon. The ambassadors are here. The green uh, vested ambassadors now. Uh, Chamber of Commerce is here, too, and other dignitaries. But I'll tell you what, to get all of this group in one place, not moving at one time, we better take advantage. All right. All right. So do you have a little something that you want to say to them? Okay. All right, all right. The the newest business on, look at this view. Wow, isn't that beautiful? On historic First Street, Patchwork Phoenix. Welcome to the world and to uh, northeastern New Mexico. I guess I'm, I'm here to tell you we're ready. Let's count down for the ribbon cutting. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. It's a little bit of a patchwork in there. It, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it and, is. And we kind of called it that because it's a little of everything. It's patchwork. And then Phoenix was really because it's kind of rising from the ashes of the old Big Six Bar. That's what used to be, be here. here. So yep. a lot of people 
come by and say, what used to be here? Well, it was the Big Six Bar, but now it's a Patchwork Phoenix. It's yep. fabulous. It's uh, very, very well done inside. A lot of work went into this. A little bit of money, or maybe the, more than a little yeah, bit. Yeah. A little. But, but a, a, a great canopy. Wow, what oh, an man, awning beautiful. that is. Huh? That's what we tell everybody. Look for the purple awning. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I was hesitant when she started talking about this uh, awning and the color. But uh, actually, it turned out pretty good. It goes very well, absolutely. So, I'm glad I kept my mouth shut. And then you've got a, we, we all know our place, but yeah, not on the radio, know. Al. Oh, not, not on the radio. radio. Okay. <laughs> so, and you've got a nice little sign up there, too, yeah, Patchwork yeah. Phoenix. Actually, that was done by uh, Joe Egan mm -hmm. from uh, Raton Sign Company. It used to say Coors because it was a oh, bar. Okay. Yeah. And so, so it's we, the same framework. It's the same yeah. framework. We yeah. just asked Joe to come down and and fix it for us Do and his I, magic. Gave him, I gave him the artwork and he put it together so it, yeah. he did a great job We're you can pleased. get anything done in raton and this, yes, this you area bet. You you bet. Can. Yeah. and wonderful people and helpers and volunteers that we've had over the past several months we we actually bought the building in january and we've been working on it ever oh, since yeah. <laughs> yeah. and it was so appropriate that the train came by just a few minutes before yes, we went yes, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've actually had several of our Boy Scouts coming in. We do have free Wi-Fi here, and and we encourage them to come in and just spend time because if they're waiting for the train, it's more comfortable in here than it is, you know, sitting on a bench or on the sidewalk. So seven days yeah. a week open. Yes, right now mm -hmm. we are, and we're trying to figure out exactly how many hours will be open each day. Okay. So for now, we're ten to six Monday through Friday, and we have changed it to one to six on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Only because uh, most people don't seem to get out before noon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we get like to sleep in. Yeah, there we, we like to sleep in a little bit too. So okay. it is one to six on Saturday and Sunday. But it really doesn't feel like work. We're just enjoying it down here so much. We love Raton. That's why we retired here. We don't have family mm -hmm. here. We have lots of friends though and, and we just love the area and everything there is to do in Raton and, and good people like you, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. As as part of it too, you also do some workshops and educational classes. Yes, too. we do. In fact we've got Katya Holen from Pueblo West is down here today and she's going to be doing a little bowl cozy uh, as a demo and then she has several of those for sale in our in our gift shop and she'll be doing um, an actual workshop then on hexagons how to make them with just a regular ruler and no Y seams so that's really uh, fun and I, I know I heard you on the radio yesterday saying well I guess the quilters know what she's talking about <laughs> yes they do okay. all right <laughs> so we invite all the quilters in the area and we have lots of quilters uh, beginners, novices, uh, all the way from e intermediate to advanced, and we really invite everybody to come down and, and see what we've got here to offer and um, help us out. If they want to give a class, we'll be glad to sign them up and have them do a little demo or a workshop or something, too. It's quite a craft is what it is. It, it is. really is. It, is. it, it kind of really reminds is. me of the Schuler Theater. They they built that when there were no computers. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Plum bob and measuring <laughs> yeah. tape How and that's that it. Yeah. Now I'm, the quilters have come a little bit more we with have, the technology. We have and yeah. in fact uh, the rotary cutter probably revolutionized the quilting industry. We do what we call the assembly line quilting which is fast and fun and you can make a quilt top in one day and then actually get it quilted and have it finished within a couple of days. So we like to get things done. And yes. so that's how we, we work it here. If I may amend that statement, a person can get it done in one day. Yes, a person. Maybe not you certain or me, persons. but certainly yeah. we could learn it with yes, desire yes. and practice. And we also have another uh, wonderful quilter coming down from Johnston, Colorado. Her name is Margaret Willingham. And she is going to be doing the reverse applique, which is um, a really interesting technique. And I think something that everybody would really enjoy learning. So all you quilters out there, she's a fabulous professional. Um, she has her own eye of the beholder business that uh, manufactures her patterns. And so it's a really quite an opportunity for Red Tone to take part in this uh, trunk show on Friday night, next Friday, uh, for $10, and then the actual workshop for 55 which includes the kit of batik fabrics. Great, great, great. Now, how can people find out more about all of the happenings going on here? Well, we do have a website. It's still under under uh, work right now, and we also are on Facebook. I'd love to pe have people just look up Patchwork Phoenix okay. on Facebook and like us, and mm -hmm. then we will be posting all the different things that are going on. We'll be having a tea society. We'll have some afternoon teas with guest speakers or music. We'll also have uh, 
book club that we've started and we'll be reading some new books as well as some of our old favorites and Great. share that with each other uh, and then we have our quilters of course our Tuesday night out which is a ladies night out Tuesday night we actually just uh, get together at 530 from 530 to 830 and we just either work on our own projects or we're doing a group project okay so all kinds of fun things going on you forgot the most important way that people could find out what's going on. Absolutely, on KRT. On the radio. There you go. Thank <laughs> you, radio. Thank you. It's, Always. And it, it's a mutual admiration Oh, you bet. Society, and I have sure. uh, really appreciated the advertisement because I have heard them many, many times. And that's how, when people come in the door, I ask them, how did you hear about us? Most of them have said, I heard it on the radio. radio. So thank you, Billy. And you're hearing it right now. You've got a lot yeah. of people. We better get in there. Is there you any, bet. there's a lot of refreshments? There's I don't know. It looked pretty good when I was in there, so. Right. And then, of course, yeah. we're ready to scoop. Well, Hal's ready to scoop some ice cream if anybody wants ice cream. Okay. He's, the, he's the ice cream I'm right scooper. I'm you. Yeah, you know, we, our talents show through. I know, don't yeah. they? <laughs> right. No one I'm for. Thank you Good so luck much. and Thanks, congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for investing.